Both Alphabet, formerly known as Google, of course, and Microsoft report earnings late Thursday. Equity analyst Scott Kessler of S&P Capital IQ joins me now. Scott, let's tackle Alphabet first. What are you going to look for in this report? And particularly, what are your expectations on the core search ad business? Right. So, Rhonda, I think it's really interesting that um, we're going to have results and discussion related to Alphabet because what that means basically is that we, for the first time, are going to gain insights as to differentiating the core Google business and then everything else. And so our expectation, our hope really, is that what you're going to see from Alphabet is you're going to see line item results from Google, the company's primary business, and then you're going to see something that might indicate other. And those other areas include um, investments, include um, offerings and businesses that are outside of the core Google operations. And so those include um, the investment vehicles that um, Google has had for some time, um, what they're doing with Nest, which they acquired over the last year or two and they've built um, onto with acquisitions, and really other moonshot type projects. Because a lot of people want an understanding of how negative um, the non-Google Alphabet efforts have been in terms of the perception related to Google. And so for the first time, we get to see that separated out. I think that's number one. And then number two is what you pointed out, which is the overall health of the core kind of search and advertising business. Look, I mean, Google has been growing um, its revenues at kind of a normalized rate of let's say uh, maybe in the mid-teens, and we expect, we expect that to continue. Um, the issue here is going to be around transparency and what kind of the perceptions are about the core Google business uh, going forward. And then, Scott, in terms of Microsoft, is the commentary around cloud most important in that report, or is it something else? You know, what's interesting about Microsoft is there's no question that they're trying to change the conversation going from PC to cloud. And I think they've done actually a pretty good job of kind of shifting that focus and shifting that perception. But at the end of the day, Microsoft is still largely uh, a PC company. And so because of that, the most important thing for Microsoft, we think, for this quarter is the release of Windows 10, uh, which occurred, I believe, at the end of June. So they really now have a full quarter of, uh, of sales a full quarter of feedback and a full quarter of uh, information uh, to share about, in fact, how Windows 10 is tracking. Clearly, I think what's also important to keep in mind is for both of these companies, for Alphabet and for Microsoft, Q4 is critical. For Microsoft, they're still driven by the PC and more PCs are sold in the fourth quarter than any other quarter. And then Google, they largely are beholden to what's going on in terms of search traffic and advertising, and those pick up quite a bit um, in Q4 where people are thinking about and searching for and acting uh, based on the holiday shopping season, trying to find deals and uh, buy gifts for, uh, for loved ones and others. So uh, this is really a, a critical um, period for both of these companies, more so in terms of the fourth quarter that we're now in versus the third quarter that we just concluded. All right, you've given us a lot to watch. Scott Kessler, S&P Capital IQ, thanks so much. Thanks, Rhonda. I'm Rhonda Schapler for The Street.